In this example, we want to find a power series for the function given here, centered at x equals to 3. Okay. So to do this, again, we're going to go back to this idea of the power series here that we have in the box. Okay. So that series that we that you see in this box is corresponding to the function of a over 1 minus x. Okay. So in this case, we want to uh, we want to find a, a power series, a geometric power series for the functions given, but centered at three. So, so the way we do this, okay, the first step you should do is to uh, look at this, okay, when x is three, okay. So what we can do is we can, this is equivalent to saying x minus three equal to zero, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this expression, x minus three, and substitute into the function, okay. All right, so this is going to give us 2 divided by, okay, and I'm going to write this way. I'm going to put the 2 first here, and then 3 times x minus 3, okay. So what we're doing is we're doing a shifting, okay, but then we have to, remember, we have to keep in mind the original function that we're given, okay. So by putting x minus 3 into the, into, into the, variable x, we have to somehow rewrite, we have to go back to the original function and preserve that, okay? So here, we get minus 9, okay? If we look here, 3 times, we get 3 times x minus 3, so so this is giving us an extra factor of a negative 9, okay? So what we need to do is we need to, in order to preserve the original function, we need to add a 9 here, okay? All right, so now this is the same as what we're given, right? So we have two divided by two plus three x minus nine plus nine. Okay, so that gives us two over three x plus two, okay? So from here, okay, we can rewrite this as two over, this is gonna be 11 plus three times x minus three. So Okay, so we're going to go back, right? We have to go back and use this form, okay? So I want to make this, okay? I want to make this position 1, okay? So we need to divide every term by 11, okay? All right, so this is going to be, okay, so we're going to get 2 over 11 divided by 11 over 11 plus 3 over 11, times x minus 3, okay? And this will simplify giving us 2 over 11 divided by 1. And because I want a negative value, okay, because we have 1 minus x, so I want to put a negative here, so that means I have to put a negative inside. So it's just like double negative, okay, to get a positive. Okay. So now we have the form that we need, okay? So we have a, okay, so this is a, and this, this is acting as x, okay? So that is, think of this as the r value, okay, from a geometric series. Okay, so now we have all the components to write our series. Okay, so this, okay, so that means we have Okay, so we're going to get, okay, a is 211, oh, so 2 over, 2 sorry, times, okay, minus 3 over 11 times x minus 3, okay, and all this is raised to the n, okay, and then furthermore, we can, um, we can go ahead and write this as summation from 0 to infinity, of, you can take out minus 1 to the n. That's optional if you want to do this. Okay. And then we have 3 over 11, x minus 3, to the, all to the power n. Okay. Okay, so either, either one of these is, is correct. Okay, whichever form you like. Okay. 
All right, so now we need to determine the interval of convergence here, okay? All right, so we have to look at whatever, we have to look at uh, this part here, okay? And the, that's getting raised to the power n, okay? So we're gonna have, let's see, okay, so we're gonna determine the interval of convergence. Okay, so we have Okay, so we'll have three over eleven times x minus three and this okay is gonna be less than one for so if for whichever x values that this satisfies um, that those are gonna be the corresponding x values for that make this series converge, okay? So this, okay, this is the same as minus one, less than three over 11 times x minus three. Oops. Okay. Less than one, okay? From here, uh, this is just an algebra problem now. Okay, we can solve for, we can isolate x, solve for x. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply through by 11 thirds. And then we can go ahead and add three. Okay, and then we get, uh, so minus 11 thirds plus three, that's gonna give us 20 thirds. Oh, actually, sorry, not 20 thirds. That's minus 11, sorry. So it's going to give us minus, uh, see, nine, oh, minus uh, two, two thirds, sorry. Okay, and then here, 11 thirds plus three, that's going to give us 20 thirds. Okay, so that makes more sense now. All right. Okay, so that is our interval of convergence. Okay, so this is the same as. Uh, minus two thirds, comma twenty thirds, and again we don't need to test the endpoints here uh, because this is coming from the uh, this is all based on the geometric power series, okay? Where it doesn't converge at it doesn't converge at the endpoints, okay? For negative one and one, okay? So we don't need to check this, okay? All right, so then, okay, so that's our solution, okay? So we found our um, we found our geometric power series, okay, and the interval convergence, okay.